Welcome to our escape plan series. Here we are at the end of this really challenging year. This is our last episode for 2020. Does anyone else feel like they've signed up for a 5k this year and it turned into a marathon? <laughs> well, we've almost made it. Thank goodness. Um, and I know we're not going to flip over the calendar to 2021 and things are going to just magically go back to normal. But I do know that the current state of things is not going to last forever. Um, with every day that passes, we get closer and closer to kind of getting on the other side of this and connecting with amazing people and places around our planet. I have a few quick things I want to share today. Before we get started, we have a really exciting guest and topic today. But before we jump into that, I want, I want to share three things with you guys. Um, if you thought planning travel before the pandemic was overwhelming and confusing, fasten your seatbelt. The confusion just increased exponentially. Now, number two, now is the time to begin planning for those lost opportunities uh, from this year. Look, we know how disappointing this year was. Uh, we had a 50th birthday celebration. Uh, we personally were gonna be celebrating with my husband this year. There were so many graduation trips, so many summer vacations, anniversary trips, and my goodness, the destination weddings. I mean, um, you know, it's just been months and months of disappointment. So um, we know that on the other side of this, there's gonna be limited capacity. And the demand is already really, really high. At Global Escapes, we've gotten really busy in the last couple of weeks, which for us is very exciting because we finally get back to doing what we really, really love. Um, but what this means is that space is gonna fill up and prices are likely to increase because of the limited capacity. And then number three, lastly, I just wanna remind everyone listening that Global Escapes really does have an amazing team of travel advisors. Um, Natalie and Christine and Beth and Hannah and Jenny. These folks all really, really love getting to know our clients, helping them create amazing experiences in their lives. So if you don't already have a trusted advisor to help you create a plan for the next three to five years, I would suggest reaching out to us soon. Um, it really will bring you hope and optimism to have some things on the calendar to look forward to. And we all know that sometimes the anticipation of the adventure is kind of part of the trip. So make that happen. Um, we'll be using the chat feature at the bottom of your screen to insert information. If you have any questions, please place those in the chat box. Um, we know your time is valuable. This session is gonna be a little bit longer uh, than normal, but I think you guys will be okay with that because like I said, this is pretty exciting. Um, everybody's gonna be in listen only mode, but if there are any questions that don't get answered in the chat today, please just stay in touch with us and we are happy to answer any questions later. Okay, let's get started. Um, have you ever dreamed of being swept away on a private jet? Today, we welcome Vanita Bhatia from TCS World Travel. Vanita is the Director of Business Development with TCS. She has been with them for over four years. After graduating from New York University and a dual degree in finance and marketing, she joined American Express for 12 years, managing partnerships with private jet, private yacht, cruise, and hotel industries. After leaving American Express, she joined J.P. Morgan Chase's consumer and community banking team, negotiating card benefits. And then she decided to merge her career with her personal love of travel, working as director of partnerships for exclusive resorts and then joining TCS in 2016. Vanita lives and works in Brooklyn, New York. Welcome, Vanita. How are you today? I'm great. Thank you so much. How are you? Great. Is it as cold in New York as it is in Georgia? You know, I have to say we got, I have been looking at about a foot of snow right now outside wow. my window. We had an intense snowstorm last night. So, you know, I'm looking at some of the slides. I'm going to go through with pictures of the beach in Easter Island and I'd rather be anywhere but here. Yeah. But 
<laughs> so I think we might have it a little bit colder up here in New York than in Georgia. Yeah, yeah. Well, and so it, I've talked to a few people this week that have said they were starting to get snow, which is interesting. Of course, we'll be lucky in Georgia if we get snow. It, it may last for five or 10 minutes and then it all melts and goes away. Yeah. So tell me real quick. So what's been going on at TCS these past eight months? Yeah, thank you. First of all, for the nice intro, that was really lovely. Um, it's been quite a year, as I think all of us in the travel industry have come to have come to experience. You know, we really paused our jet expeditions because, you know, obviously just not being able to travel most of the world right now. It's been an interesting time for us, but we've really used the time to think about how we set ourselves up for when we resume traveling again. And so that includes looking at all of our safety protocols, all the things that we do to make sure our guests are safe. Um, planning some new itineraries for later in 2021, 2022, which I'm going to talk about today. So we're really excited. I think, you know, you, you said this, and I'm just going to echo it, that the last few weeks, couple of months in particular, we are seeing that enthusiasm for travel come back. I think people have been home for a long time and want to get out there again. I think also, um, you know, we're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Obviously, there's a lot of cases with the pandemic, but knowing that there's a vaccine on the horizon, people are really starting to travel or wanting to travel. Right. And I think for those of us who know, for those travelers who know what we do, a jet expedition is such a great way to travel coming out of such a, you know, a scary time. So we're pretty optimistic as are you. And we yeah. love working with companies like Global Escapes because you're a fantastic partner and we appreciate this. Well, thank you. No, we, we enjoy it. I mean, you know, I mean, let's be honest, all of us in the travel industry, we kind of live vicariously through the experiences that we help our clients with. So, um, you know, for us to see all of these get, uh, you know, completely undone this year has just been, it's been crushing for all of us. And so we know, we know that people are ready. They're ready to get back out there. Okay. Well, I, I think it's time for you to share that screen because I can't wait to share these experiences with people. Um, it's so amazing That's, to think about these jets and these experiences. For sure, I will share my screen. I'm gonna go through some slides. Um, you know, hopefully our goal today is really just to bring it to life, to show you guys what it is we do and how we travel. Because I do think that for a lot of people, it's hard to understand what it means to travel on a luxury jet expedition. You know, the images are beautiful, the jet is beautiful, but what does it really mean day to day? And so my goal today is really to share that with you and bring it to life. And honestly, no matter what expedition you take with us, it's going to be incredible. I've been on two myself and it will ruin you for traveling any other way. I can promise you that. So just jumping in, we've already kind of given the overview. I'm not going to elaborate any more on what I do or who I am because Tiffany did a really lovely job um, going forward. So how I thought I'd spend the time today is give you a little orientation into who we are. A lot of people don't know TCS because we're not a household name. Talk about how we travel, whether it's on a jet or on a, a private trip through us, and then talk about a special offer that we're giving as a friend and client of Global Escapes. So who is TCS World Travel? We've actually been around for over 25 years. And again, most people don't know who we are because it's a niche luxury travel product. We only travel with around 1300 guests every year. And that's across around 20 different itineraries. So as you can imagine, that's not a, a product for the masses. What we do is we try to connect our guests to some of those destinations around the world that are really difficult to get to, uh, maybe they don't want to take three different flights to get there, or maybe they have curiosity about going to a destination, but they're not as comfortable going themselves or on their own. We connect them in total ease and comfort. We provide very high levels of service. We do it on these beautiful jets. We provide enrichment along the way. And, you know, we're never humble about sharing some of our awards because, again, being a, not a household name, um, you know, we won Travel and Leisure, world's best tour operator. As of last night, we were named 2020 or 2021 Afar's best over the top experience for our around the world. So that's hot off the press. Um, but that recognition is just really wonderful affirmation for what we do. We are the operating partner for a lot of jet experiences um, that you might know of, but no, don't know us. So we are the operator for the Four Seasons private jet experience. And that's a partnership that we're so proud of. They came to us several years ago to 
say we had this great footprint, can we create a jet experience around our property? So we do about four Four Seasons trips every year. So they have their own jet, obviously it's fully branded. Um, we also operate trips for Kalos Golf, for Smithsonian, uh, YPO, a lot of the alumni organizations. So there's a good chance if there's a private jet ex expedition out there that we are the operating partner behind it. And I will say it's, you know, it's because it's our core business. So I mentioned that we operate around 20 different itineraries. That's really our bread and butter and what we're most known for. So there's really two ways to travel with us. And I'm going to elaborate on these in the coming slides. But the first is those jet expeditions that I mentioned we're most known for. Again, in a normal year, which 2020 is not that, we might have give or take 20 different trips. Those are sold by the seat. There's a set, uh, set uh, expedition date or departure date. They tend to be around two to three weeks in length. You're going to hit six to 10 different destination. You could travel to one country, you might travel to a region like South America, or it might be a global expedition. We're gonna have anywhere from 28 to 64 guests, and it's gonna be on our new Airbus 321 or other private aircraft. The other is really these, these custom tailor-made journeys. For these, we work with your travel advisor to create a trip that's designed exactly around your preferences. So you might have a birthday celebration or a honeymoon or a really complex trip. Maybe there's multiple destinations. We can work with Tiffany's team to really create something that's bespoke for you. And there's no set departure date. There's no set number of guests. It's really what you want. I want to also mention, because we've been talking about the pandemic and we want our guests to feel comfortable in booking with us. So very quickly, um, we want everyone to feel comfortable. We want to provide the experience that they come to expect. So we have uh, implemented this book with confidence program where if we cancel a trip because we can't operate it due to the pandemic um, in the way that we know we want to, we will, we will cancel it. And every guest who's been booked will be offered a full refund. If they book a private trip, a custom private trip, private, a custom private travel trip, we are offering full flexibility. So up until 15 days before departure, uh, you can cancel that trip and be offered 100% of that cost as a trip credit to travel in the future. And you can go to the same place or you can go somewhere else. So we just want you to know that and feel comfortable that uh, we understand it's a difficult time and people have a lot of uncertainty and there's a lot of fluidity with the pandemic. In terms of traveling with confidence and feeling safe, um, you know, right now we're not operating any expeditions because it's a situation that we wanna ensure we're prepared for. So that is changing every day. We are working with our physician partners to ensure that we have the most up-to-date and current health and safety procedures. So that means wherever we go and anywhere our guests are, if it's the hotel, if it's the jet, if it's the touring, that we're thinking about every touch point. We have an on-trip physician on every jet expedition. So that's always been the case with us, but it's obviously even more important going forward. We're working with every partner. Uh, we're monitoring the risk in every country. So some of our trips go to six to eight different countries. We're monitoring that to see where can we travel to, to ensure that our guests feel safe and comfortable. So I'm gonna spend a few minutes talking about the jet expeditions and the experience overall. This is our around the world by private jet trip. We operate this trip every year. We call it kind of our classic or our, our bucket list trip. It's a 24 day expedition and it's a great illustration of how we think about traveling and how we operate a, a trip. So this trip begins and ends in Orlando. It then goes down to Cusco and Machu Picchu for two nights where we charter the Hiram Bingham train to the top and we do our private touring. Uh, we spend two nights there. We then fly on to Easter Island, which to me is a great example of why you take a jet trip, right? It's difficult to get to, but really high curiosity. So we go there and we spend two nights. Uh, you know, we leave and the pilot, you know, circles the Moai from above and it's a really cool experience. You then fly on to Samoa, then to the Barrier Reef. We go up to Angkor Wat in Cambodia. We then go to Agra to the Taj Mahal. And here we have special permission to land at the military base in Agra. So it just makes that experience of traveling to the Taj Mahal a lot easier. For anyone who's traveled in India, you know exactly what I mean. Then we fly on to Tanzania where our guests have an option to go to the Serengeti Plain or the Ngorogoro Crater. 
we go up to Petra and Wadi Rum in Jordan, which if you've never been, I, I was out there on one of our jet expeditions. It's absolutely magical. I cannot recommend it enough. We then go to Marrakesh and Morocco, and then we come back to Orlando. So again, 24 days, you're hitting some of those destinations that would take two days to get to, but we fly on the jet. So our longest flight on this trip is about eight hours. Our average length of flight is around five and a half. Um, you'll notice that we're also flying west, so we're always catching up on time. And the goal with that is to minimize jet lag and maximize every minute on the ground. Uh, we never fly at night. It's important that everyone is well rested so that they're touring and seeing all the sites the next day. So we fly during the day, you land, you tour, you spend the night, and then we keep going. And just to highlight, you know, a lot of people say, well, I can do this on my own commercially. Why would I do this by jet? And I think the difference is really in the numbers. So, you know, commercially, you would take 34 days to do this trip. It takes 24 with us. You know, the number of flights, obviously a lot less, the travel time, and then the airport wait time. This is a number that's really startling to me whenever I see it. You're not, we don't have layovers. You're not waiting at the gate for hours and hours. We drive up to the airport the last possible minute. We have expedited security. So you're never spending excess time in transit. The jet. So this is obviously one of the best experiences of traveling with us. So we have coming out next year, a brand new Airbus 321. Uh, we have traveled on Boeing 757s in the past, and some of our trips will have that next year as well as we integrate the new jet. Regardless of the jet you take, you're going to have a very first class experience. So, you know, as you can see here, this is beautiful. We have, um, you know, first class seats, in some places, cases business class, but you've got this dedicated staff with you. On a regional trip, you might have a smaller jet. So we have an Airbus 318 that has 28 first class seats. Again, however you travel, it's going to be more than comfortable. And I'll show you some more images on the following slides. This is the new jet, as I mentioned. So you can see two by two seats. Uh, you know, you're going, we, it depends on the configuration, but you're going to have either 52 first class seats or 64 business class. It depends on the, on the expedition. But just to give you some context, the 321 Airbus commercially has 195 seats. So you have a lot of space regardless of what the configuration is and a very high uh, crew to guest ratio. This is the Four Seasons jet, which is also the, the 321. The difference here is that there's 48 first class seats, not 52, because there's a standing lounge in the back. So they're gonna have, you know, maybe a mixologist or some other sort of expert, and it's just a lovely place for people to, to gather. Some of the other benefits, I mean, it is brand new, literally on the uh, on the assembly line as we speak. Not the best time to be building two new jets, but hey, we couldn't have controlled or accounted for the pandemic. Um, custom leather seats that are handcrafted in Italy. It is the largest cabin um, by height and width of a single aisle aircraft. So there are no middle seats in the jet. There's a state-of-the-art filtration system for the air, so it's very clean larger lavatories, two galleys. It's a lot more fuel efficient as well, which we're excited about. Wi-Fi, of course. And then it has the range that we need to fly, but it has the ability to still land in some of those smaller regional airports. So again, we're, we're thrilled. They are beautiful and we can't wait to have them in our fleet. Oops. Some of the advantages, I already mentioned this, but uh, you know, the expedited security, the private FBOs and air terminals. So that's always been a benefit, but particularly now, you know, do we want to fly into some of these larger airports with the masses? No. The fact that we're going into these smaller air terminals or having these expedited security is huge. We don't have layovers. Uh, we can adjust if necessary. If we determine that going to one country on our trip or one destination is too risky for some reason, we can always divert. We always have a plan B. Um, and I mentioned before that we, we customize those journey routes and that we minimize the airport wait time. The service is fantastic, of course, as you'd expect. So we have a dedicated 16 member flight crew, three pilots, an engineer. We have uh, eight flight attendants. So anywhere from 48 to 64 guests, you can see it's a very high touch experience. They get to know every guest on a very personalized level. One of my favorite anecdotes is on my last trip, there was a lovely couple who loved Reese's peanut butter cups. And on the first leg of that trip, they asked for them from one of the flight attendants. Every time they got back on that jet, there were, flight, there were peanut butter cups on their seat. So I always say the opulence, the luxury is great, but it's those little details that we take very personally. 
We have a luggage handler as well. So they'll carry your suitcase from the jet to your hotel room and back. Um, and then an expedition staff. So one leader, two assistants, they are really holding your hand and make sure you're everywhere you need to be. If you wanna change your tour, um, if you're running late for something, if you wanna change your hotel room, they are the first ones to wake up and the last ones to go to bed every night making sure that you're well taken care of. Of course, the VIP access is important. So um, we, you know, we skip the lines, we go behind the scenes. Imagine touring the Hermitage when it's closed to the public. Um, you know, on an anchor Wat, at sometimes you'll have a we'll have a private dinner at night where there's a police escort in. It's close to the public, and and the, the temples are are lit by thousands of candles, and we have a catered dinner and local dancers. So those are the types of moments that we really create throughout the trip, and they're just so spectacular and really uh, once in a lifetime. We often get asked if you know, you're traveling with 50 people around Petra and the answer is no, you're always in a small group. We have local guides in every destination that are vetted by us. So you're in a group of eight people maximum. If you want to do private touring, you can do that as well. If you've seen the Taj Mahal and want to do a shopping trip in Agra that day, we'll arrange for a driver for you. And you know, we really try not to nickel and dime our guests. Um, if you want to do something different and it's, you know, within a sort of a reasonable cost of what we would have spent for your other tour, we're not going to upcharge you for that. We want everyone to have the trip that suits them best. And then it's the small details as well. So from the moment you book a trip, we will work with your travel advisor on Tiffany's team to manage every detail. So we're going to send a visa kit. We're going to send the packing list, what inoculations you need. Um, we'll send you luggage. So anything you need, if you have dietary restrictions, if you wanna change anything, we'll lay out all those options. And so by the time you leave, you're going to have an itinerary that's really customized to you. We fill out your landing forms before we arrive. So a small pain point, but I always love to highlight because you're not fishing for your passport. We are gonna fill that out for you. Um, we send you a daily program in your room so you know exactly what you're doing the next day. I mentioned before the physician. So we have a team, we have a, a partner, a physician partnership out of Boston MD. And every jet expedition that we go on has a physician that is a volunteer through that program. So they're an, uh, an ER doctor who travels with the guests. They know your, your health history, if you have any medications, they're with you on the jet and on the ground. And then we work with a number of security firms as well to help with our planning process, to help us on the ground. You don't often know that they're there, they're not in uniform, but they are helping us and they're often with us as we travel. On a TCS trip, not on a Four Seasons trip, so this is a point of difference, but on a TCS trip, we also have expert lecturers. So people who are really renowned in their field, a memologist, an author, a professor. So depending on the theme of the trip, you'll have these experts who will you know, stand up on the jet, have their headphones on, you'll have an iPad with the slides and they'll educate you on where we're going next, the history, what you're gonna see and experience. And they also travel with you on the ground. So they, they also get to know our guests on a very personal level. And of course, what would it be without a lovely hotel? So on a Four Seasons trip, you are always going to stay in a Four Seasons hotel every night. And it's the slower pace. It's about three to four nights per destination. There are a couple of exceptions where they go to Rwanda and the Galapagos, but in those destinations, we bring in a Four Seasons trained staff, so you're still getting a Four Seasons experience. But on a TCS trip, you might stay in a Four Seasons. It might be something else. We pick the best lodging accommodations in every destination, but we really plan those trips around the destination. So, you know, we might go to the Gobi Desert in Mongolia, and you'll stay in a luxury yurt. Um, you know, we, we look for the best accommodation. So you're never going to be suffering. It's always going to be beautiful. Um, and again, you're never going to be sleeping on the jet at night. It's always going to be in a beautiful hotel. And then some other small details. So we give you local currency in every destination. It's not a lot of money. It's about 10 or 20 US dollars, but just enough for you to make small purchases and not have to worry about exchanging money for eight different countries before you leave. I met a, a woman once who's traveled with her daughter um, with seven times with us. And I asked her like what she likes the best about our trips. You would think she'd say the jet or their service. She loved the local currency, which is such a small detail, but it was just something she didn't have to worry about. We give pre-stamp postcards and local gifts to everyone. We, our pricing is all inclusive. So gratuities, um, alcohol tours, you never have to worry about that. We say, if you don't shop, you can actually leave your wallet at home, which everyone shops, so don't do that. But that is the experience that we provide. 
I just wanted to show two examples of trips that are coming up just to give you a sense of how they can differ from one another. So wildlife and natural wonders, November 2nd to the 21st of next year. I love this trip because it's really esoteric. So you've got Cappadocia, Jaipur, you go to Ronthambore to see the tigers, Nosy Bay, Madagascar, you go down to South Africa to some more safari, to the Winelands, you go up to Zambia, to Victoria Falls, Kenya. Again, if you love wildlife and culture, this is a phenomenal itinerary. On the right, this is an example of a more regional itinerary, but I just wanted to show it also because it's just a little different. This is the best of Chile and Argentina. So this is a trip that we're doing also later next fall into the winter. But if you love South America, um, this is a fantastic trip. Also connecting some of those destinations that, you know, they're not long flights necessarily, but just a bit of a challenge to get to. And um, we make that very easy. So you go from Miami to Chile, Easter Island again, to the wine country in Argentina, Iguazu Falls, down to Bariloche, which I love this photo there, or Tierra del Paine, uh, Chile, up to Buenos Aires, and then back to Miami. So I just wanted to show a couple of examples just to help uh, get, bring it to life a little bit. So I feel like I'm talking really fast. I, I hope this is all making sense, but I'm going to spend a couple of minutes talking about the private custom travel as well. So I wanted to mention this because this is something that we can do in collaboration with your travel advisor. These are completely personalized. So, you know, again, we just did a family of 23 last year doing a family heritage tour around Ireland. They wanted to go on a private jet. So we did that for them and took them around Ireland. Um, you know, these are all encompassing. It's the idea of, you know, creating the same level of service and experience that you'd get on a jet expedition, but just doing it to your preferences. So how it works is if, you know, you would contact your travel advisor on Tiffany's team, they would work with us to create something for you. And that's an ongoing process. Maybe you know where you wanna go, maybe you don't know, maybe you're celebrating a birthday or something special. And through that dialogue with your travel advisor, we'll create something just for you. This picture is one of my favorites. It's a real example of a private trip that we did in Bolivia, I think two years ago. So it was a group of friends that traveled and they had this private lunch on the salt flats. There was a local famous artist who set up this installation, art installation, which you can't see in this photo, but they were able to experience that with this private lunch. And it was just spectacular. What we typically include in a private itinerary are obviously great hotels, transfers, private guides, those airport services, those exclusive wow experiences, which you see here on the left, gratuities, meals, and then you have 24 hour support. One of my other favorite examples is a family that went to New Zealand over Christmas and the kids were really worried that Santa Claus wouldn't find them. And so we worked with the parents and the travel advisor to send a tree, uh, send all the gifts, and then we surprised them with personalized Christmas tree ornaments with their pictures on them. So when they got to their hotel or there was a tree set up. So those are the types of details that we really try to, uh, to include. We can add commercial air if you want it, private jets, yachts. Our, our team has that expertise. If you're doing, on a, if you're doing a multi-stop trip, I would suggest always considering a private jet. And we know if you're traveling with six people and golf clubs or two people and ski equipment, there's different jets, there's different pricing. And we have that knowledge and we work with really vetted partners. The, the requirements we have for them to work with us in terms of safety um, is very high. So just consider that as an option as well. We can provide security, babysitting, expedition leaders, wh whatever it is you want. Um, we can work with you. And I mentioned the private jet, particularly now as we come out of COVID, you know, people are asking more and more about how to travel by private jet. Um, you can travel on the jet that you already have, if you have one, if you have a jet card or a fractional or something, or we can create a trip for you and charter one. And I just wanted to show some examples for people who want to travel in the nearer term. We have created these sample itineraries in North America because, again, people are getting a little antsy and global travel might not resume until the second half of next year. But some examples, if you want to travel to Alaska or the Caribbean, we have a private homes program now as well. Um, we have a bunch more on our website um, and I can share them with Tiffany's team also. But, you know, again, if you're looking to travel sooner rather than later, just know that you can do that here in North America. You can do it commercially, but we can also create these trips for you by private jet. The Pacific Northwest is one that I love because it's Seattle and then it's chartering a boat to go up to the um, to the Orca Islands or uh, the San Juan Islands, I'm sorry. Then it's wine country in Oregon and 
Um, it's a dude ranch in Oregon, so you get some really good variety, but any of these are, are really fantastic. So if you want to travel sooner, definitely consider options here in North America. Oh, I already talked about this. I didn't realize this slide was in here. But yeah, I did speak of this. It's a really great itinerary. I mentioned that before. You have a lot of variety. The other one, um, you know, I would also say I love the national parks. And we're actually getting a lot of requests to travel the national parks right now as well. And if you've ever done the national parks, you know that you know, you're flying into larger airports, then you're driving, there's a lot of travel time involved. So again, we can arrange that, but you can also consider connecting by a jet. And that way you can fly into these smaller regional airports. We know when they're open, when they're closed, when you're able to land. And so we can create an itinerary that really optimizes the travel time that you have. So that is our custom private travel product. Um, I wanted to just kind of round out the conversation by, by going back to the offer that we wanted to put in place for you. So as a friend and client of Global Escapes, uh, TCS, as Tiffany knows, does not really do offers, but we wanted to get you guys excited about traveling with us. And we wanted to just put something out there. So if you're interested in traveling on our Around the World by Private Jet Expedition, so that's that trip I mentioned early on that goes to Machu Picchu, Easter Island, Angkor Wat, the Taj Mahal, etc. If you book with a group of friends or family as a group of eight, we will fly you to the starting point, which is either Orlando or Fort Lauderdale, and then home at the end of the trip by private jet um, at no cost. We will also provide transfers to your home from the airport, um, to, from your home to the airport and back. And then during the trip, we'll do a really special private dinner for your group. And we just did this for another large group in Agra, and it was so magical. So we wanted to put that out there for you guys. If you book as a group, um, we wanted to just make it extra special and um, create this end-to-end -end experience. If you travel as a smaller group, so let's say you're a group of four or five or six, um, we will provide free first-class airfare to and from your home to the starting and end points of the trip. So hopefully that excites you as well. What you need to do is book through Tiffany's team and you would need to book by the end of February. So February 28th, 2021 would be the deadline for that. Um, so there you go. I hope that <laughs> I hope that gets people interested in our uh, trips, but you know, if you have any exciting. questions, let me know. I'm sorry. That's very exciting. Thank you, Vanita. This is a great offer. Um, you know, one of the things as I was listening to you talk and go through the presentation, you know, th this is why you guys are such a great partner for us. And, and, you know, like so many other partners that we work with around the globe, um, you know, the, the conversation I'm hearing a lot in the last couple of weeks is the companies that are really looking at things for the long term. Like you said, pausing operations this year, obviously, you know, you've got this pandemic and then the globe, I mean, everything's kind of um, shut down right now anyways. The companies that really are working on how they can better serve their clients coming out of this pandemic and as with the vaccine becomes available and, and, and things are a little more under control, um, it's just so incredibly important. And then I think, you know, you also touched on making up for lost time, um, you know, and, and time is one of the things that we, we all have. It's just priceless, right? You know, by traveling by private jet, how much time you save by not waiting around in an airport and, and dealing with, you know, the, the little details that you talked about. Those are the kind of uh, the little details and the hurdles that people go through when they travel. We're, we're, when we travel as a team, we are always looking at ways that we can make things more seamless and easy for our clients because that's what makes the experience even better. So um, I, I think that's great. You know, I think it's, it's a great point because I think a lot of the destinations we go to, it can be like international travel can be daunting as it is, you know, like it, it, it can be kind of an assault on the senses. Like I'm landing in this airport, I don't know where I am and it's confusing and chaotic and that can be scary um, in the best of times, but especially right. at the times that we're in. And so, you know, it's taking all of those hassles and those little pain points out of travel. It just makes it so easy. Cause you know what, to me personally, as someone who loves to travel, I want to enjoy my trip. It's how I spend my disposable income. It's how I create memories. And I don't want to have to stress. And right. a quick anecdote again, I'm sorry, <laughs> so many stories. 
on my first jet trip, I went to Marrakesh, right? And we had a great experience. I went back a year later for a conference and I landed commercially. I went through, you know, the, you know, the line at immigration and I waited 45 minutes and they were like, where's your landing form? And I was like, no one gave me a landing form. And I had to get out of line and do it again. And I was like, I just don't remember having to do this last time. What did I forget? Oh, right. I forgot because last time someone filled out my form for me and I was in a private air terminal. So it can kind of ruin you, but it's, yeah. it's worth it. It is. It is worth it. Well, and you know, again, it's like we've all been talking about the new year and setting goals and things like that. So I think I think a private jet journey should be on everybody's bucket list. I mean, uh, you know, if you're going to set goals, you might as well set them big. It's true. Um, yeah. So and, and I'm glad that you mentioned the private villas. You know, that's the other thing that we've gotten a lot of requests for over the last couple of months is, like you said, uh, families that are looking to travel together or extended families and really get out there and see the national parks or just parts of the world or the United States that, you know, they thought they might have on their list for later down the road. And and, and we're all having to pivot this year and kind of do things in a little different order. But um, we're getting good at that now. Um, so, but the villas, I think, are really nice and it is a great way for people to enjoy being together still have a very luxury experience in a in a amazing destination well, but the villas, have the privacy <clears throat> it's true and you know the villas program what's great is we work with partners who you know we have ensured that they provide the level of service that that we would expect that our guests would expect so we'll stock the groceries if you want a butler if you want a massage therapist if you want any activities we will take care of all of that for you, all the coordination. Um, yeah. One quick thing I wanted to mention to me also is that if you're a single traveler, this is also a great way to travel. Like our jet expeditions, um, we have about 20% of our guests are actually single travelers. And the majority of those single travelers are women. And, you know, as a single female traveler myself, I appreciate that. But I wanted to mention that because again, like, you know, because you're traveling alone, it shouldn't stop you from seeing the world. And our trips are not coupley by nature. People tend to get to know one another and become very friendly. So consider that we have a very low solo supplement um, compared to a lot of ways to travel. And so just know that that's always an option. Yeah, that's great. I think that's great to point that out. Um, um, so, okay, this, you know, I can't, I feel like I have like this permagrin on my face because every time I, I hear you guys talk about these, these experiences, it just gets me so excited and it really is just such an amazing way to see the world. So I really appreciate you sharing this with us today, Vanita. And, um, you know, so anybody listening that is interested in one of these journeys um, or one of the private, you know, something for your own group, if you want to put something together for your own group. Again, one of the reasons we work so well with companies like TCS Everything we do at Global Escapes is personal. It's, it's you know, travel is personal. So we, we customize everything. We, there's nothing that we do that is cookie cutter. Um, and that's what makes it special because every, you know, let's face it, humans are all very individual and have individual preferences and needs. And we want to make sure that we are paying attention to those. So thanks again. I really, really appreciate you joining us today and Benita sharing all of these amazing, uh, giving us such fun things to think about over the, the coming weeks for sure. So we will be back. Um, like I said, this is our last episode for this year. We'll be back January 14th at 1130. We're going to head back to the, to the Caribbean, see if we can warm up a little bit, and we'll hear from our friends at the Sandals Resorts, where they're located, why they are a great option for our Caribbean travelers, and what they have going on in the new year. You can follow us on your favorite social media channel to stay inspired and up to date with all of our events. And we will be adding these and the registration links to our website very soon. So remember, we know that planning travel can be overwhelming and frustrating. And at Global Escapes, we provide stress-free travel planning based on the latest information wor worldwide, which is changing some days hourly. <laughs> um, but having a vacation date on your calendar really will bring back optimism and hope. So stay in touch with us. Let us know how we can help. And our hope for you today is that we brought you some excitement and inspiration. We hope everyone enjoys the magic of the holiday season and from all of us at Global Escapes and TCS, um, stay well, most importantly, we want everyone to stay well. We wish you all a Merry Christmas and happy holiday. And we will see you in the new year. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tiffany and Christina. Thank you, appreciate Maria. it.
Take Bye. care. Bye. Bye.